Welcome to 5 News, I'm Emma Crosby. It's the good news that David Cameron promised and that Britain badly needs. The worst recession in living memory is over after the economy grew by 1% over the last three months. An increase in manufacturing and improved employment figures helped, as well as a big one-off boost from the Olympics. That's left critics, though, questioning whether the fastest growth in five years can be sustained. Our chief correspondent, Tessa Chapman, is in Downing Street for us tonight. So some good news at last, Tessa. That's right, Emma. GDP, the value of the goods and services the UK produces, has gone up and more than expected. Yes, it's been flattered by the Olympics and by a bounce back after those days off work for the Jubilee celebrations. But the government is seizing on these figures as proof it's on the right track. We've become all too used to gloomy news about the UK economy. The only way seemed to be down. Then along came the Olympics to give us a boost, not just to our spirits, but the nation's finances as well. Business has been booming for flag maker Paul Noble, but the momentum needs to continue after 2012. There's been some great peaks and smaller troughs, but the overall picture um, is, is a steady one. We're not seeing um, a, a sudden huge recovery from uh, the, the quiet couple of years that we've previously had. We are in a recession when there have been two consecutive quarters of contraction. This downturn has actually seen three negative quarters in a row. But today's 1% growth lifts us out of the longest double-dip recession since World War II. Manufacturing saw solid improvement. Touring an electronics factory, the Prime Minister was cautiously cheerful. I think these figures do show that we're on the right track, we've got the right approach. We can see that with the unemployment falling, also with a quarter of the deficit uh, paid down in the last two years. There's more to do, but these figures are good progress. The opposition were quick to point out we're still not building. Construction figures are down again. A true recovery will need more. This growth is quite weak. There's a real question as to whether it will strengthen. And uh, the complacent thing to do is to cross your fingers and hope for the best. That is what I fear Chancellor George Osborne and David Cameron, the Prime Minister, are doing. With huge variations in growth across the country, experts warn against reading too much into the figures. GDP can't be precise. Jobs are going up in large numbers, and yet that doesn't seem to be coming in the growth figures. So economists and statisticians are really scratching their heads about this. And it's a bit like a car with a faulty speedometer. You can't ignore the speedometer, but you've got to listen to the engine noise and look out of the window if you really want to know how fast you're going. The fact is the economy is still smaller than before the financial crisis hit. And like the Olympics, the latest GDP figure will be a hard act to follow. So, Tessa, we are out of a recession, but there's still plenty of gloomy economic news out there, isn't there? That's right. The car maker Ford today announced it's going to be closing two of its operations in the UK next summer. So that means 500 jobs will go at the transit van plant in Southampton, 750 at the panel stamping operation in Dagenham, and another 150 support staff roles will go. Ford has said that it will try to relocate some of those staff, but the Unite Union described the move as disgraceful. It's clear not everyone is benefiting from this economic upturn, and the Chancellor and Prime Minister will be well aware of that. We're not out of the woods yet. Tessa, thank you very much.